I am doing a video a little bit different. I know I'm uploading one, actually two videos. I have to read you guys a couple things that I found very interesting. As you can see where we're at on my phone. This I just, just came out. Look at this. Army follows the Air Force's lead by calling retirees back to active duty. Are you freaking serious? And the Army is opening the doors to retired soldiers to return to active duty to fill critical worldwide shortages. This follows the Air Force's February announcement that it would allow up to a thousand retirees, including pilots, to return to active duty for up to four years. Do you guys remember last year that I said that they are going to um, draft people children women you know that they they put that into motion that they are drafting anybody because they need people for this upcoming war yeah um so yeah that prophecy is coming to pass uh so or the message that i was given i guess it's not a prophecy uh the message called in all army activities or a Larrick message says a review of commands requests for the fill of authorized personnel vacancies in conjunction with current army manning guidance prompted review on of how the army can fill key and critical critical position vacancies. The document stated to outline the current situation, the retiree call program can be an effective tool to fill personal shortages of authorized regular army vacancies that are considered key and essential this is not fair to those who are old and active they're going to randomly pick see standards and is not as older older than 70 so yeah this is where that also the other dream is of my son where he had to take a test to get past and it didn't matter if i tried taking the test for him or not it still he uh was going had to go get drafted I'm not saying that's what's happening. So now we have right here the this is exactly what's happening with this bridge thing. The supply chain manager. All of this is to collapse the economy. And this reminds me London Bridge has fallen down. Okay? And it's not just about London Bridge, it's about America. Okay? And then Jeremiah 4 um, for this shall the earth mourn and the heavens above be black because I have spoken it. I have purposed it and will not repent. Neither will I turn back from it. Okay. This is the judgments that's coming. CERN fires up. Look at that on April 8th. What? And then we have all these, look at this fatal car accidents. I mean, come on guys. And then these are three major bridges as on 326. Okay, that ain't a coincidence. And I'm not even, I'm sorry, to me, this is just the beginning. This is a distraction from what's coming. This is to entrap the American people. We're getting ready to go to war. A nuclear war at that. Okay, so let me get out of this. So I wanted to tell you, um, this was the one that I showed you guys today. Remember? Look at that. One angel, two three and four there's the x and then um we have all right whoops there's the x and then we have jesus and look at that the same colors of what the gay pride flag also the promise of jesus okay but x over the united states and taking jesus out so there's that and here is the where the the ship went so it intentionally veered off look at that because it usually goes down the same thing and it veered off yeah this is this is all planned to collapse the economy to stop you know everything and if this this is the picture i took remember this is the aleph over the united states the beginning and the end now look at this black swan now the end begins, okay? Uh, will the upcoming Black Swan event crash the economy, unleash a new pandemic, or prevent Trump from being a president? I believe it's all. So we've never seen anything like what the global theater is playing. The air is crackling with the end times electricity. Uh, say hello to the Black Swan, which is... Do, 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 do. Predictive programming. Whoop! Black Swan event. It will be devastating. So on and so forth. All right. So, this is all from April 8th. Warning. Okay. Warning. 
I mean, this isn't fake. Six months, six years, six, six, six. Hmm. Three years, three weeks, three, three, three. Jesus is, uh, yeah. Now this one, before I showed you that other debt clock, this is the one right here. I really wanted to show you because people didn't understand. I'm sorry. People are sending me messages. Okay. So people didn't understand this. This is exactly the same as that Aleph that I showed you. Okay. The X over the United States because this is God's marker. Look, these are the, this is Libra or uh, Virgo. And this is Leo the lion. Okay. You got the celestial one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Five, six, seven, seven in a row. Planetary line mat. Look at that. Turn to the new kingdom. Who is like the Lord our God who dwelleth on high? Come on now. Come on. Like they are telling us in our daggone faces. And look at this. If this don't tell you anything. We must open our hearts to Satan for he is risen. Pope Francis orders Christians to pray to Satan for real enlightenment. And this is what the Aleph Tav means. Hebrew character symbol believed to be the signature of Christ found only in the Hebrew Bible represented by the head of the bull and the sign of a cross. Boom, bam, bop. Guys, something serious is about to happen. And when everything crosses over, when the division happens on the United States, look at that. This is what it's going to look like. The future map of America. This is why I said it's not going to be completely taken out when nuclear war hits and stuff. But it's going to be taken out. So there's an earthquake fault lines that are right here. Which is going to break off parts of the United States just like this. So the United States won't be the same. Guys, this is serious. America needs to repent. But they ain't going to. We're getting ready to go through exactly this stuff that you guys are seeing and Satan teaches us to believe in self to love but the word of God and we see this demons are manifesting now I am going to attach a bunch of my old videos uh from my other channel within two years timing or or earlier or, or like from from 2022 on um just I just handpicked a handful of them so that you guys can know what God has showed me is coming to pass and getting ready to come to pass. Okay. So God says that he sends out his messengers to rise up early to give out messages. That's exactly what I'm doing. My dreams and stuff. I've had lots of nuclear war dreams, especially with Russia, China, and NATO. And that's exactly what's getting ready to happen. Guys, we're in crunch time. Very, very serious crunch time. So... If you guys want to look at more videos after I post that, it's all down my channel. Um, and the other um, um, dreams and stuff that I've had are on my Lost and Weary page. Um, so you guys be prepared. We're getting ready to go home and crap's about to hit the fan like you wouldn't believe. Look at all this. Look at all this. I mean, it's all there, guys. These are just in the past few days. And this is Princess Carly's dream. Recap of my dream in 2017. I was in my house. I ran out the front door. It was like an urgency. I ran down the sidewalk and I had an older van at that time. And for some reason, I went behind the van. I laid on my back and I looked up in the sky and there were stars everywhere and they started falling and they were just everywhere. And, and I was told to get up and for some reason I had some little kids with me. I put them in the back of the van, shut the back door, got on the driver's side, shut the door and I saw Walter run up to me. So I rolled down my window and he looked at me and he said, it is time. 
Okay, the reason why I showed you this also, if you guys don't know who Walter Shepard is, remember that dream I had of the lunar eclipse slash planet, whatever I seen, but I was also waiting on the solar eclipse and I was dressed up in my dress and so on and so forth. I had this about a week ago on the 24th, 25th, something like that. Well, he's that same guy that interpreted that the stars and stuff that I was seeing up in the sky is glorified body. And it was beautiful. And so she had a dream about that gentleman. It's from the gospel stuff. Walter Shepard. He passed away in 2018. Bless his heart. Um, but go check his channel out. Even though he's passed away. He he had so many dreams of well, what's happening now. He was absolutely correct. About the timing of everything. I mean it was it's just right on the nail. He is an amazing man of God. And I miss him. And um so yeah, um, anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, it's a little weird video, but that's okay. Um, so be prepared, be ready. Jesus is coming. See you there in the air. God bless.